Hey guys, so I thought of practicing the nose today because in my weekly recap, I did find out that it's very common in the faces that I sculpted that I struggle with the nose. And also I thought why not record the entire process. So over here I gathered some references from Pinterest, some real life images and some illustrated and sculpted images me to better understand the nose and what I think I will do I will learn to make a generic nose like this and then we can morph him into any nose shape that we like which is a very good idea so you just learn to make a generic generic nose and then you can make him make it into any shape you like also I see that a lot of sculptors when they're making noses they usually study Henry Cavill He's a really good looking man and I think the reason is because he really has the nasal cartridges and all these planes of the nose very visible and his face is rather symmetric so I think it would be very interesting but first let's start with this image I found this on Pinterest and let's first put in the eyes move this to the side and the position of the eyes is usually in halfway the face so this is the half point and let's just draw some sculpt some circle over here and smooth it out okay this is really high res so let's make it a little low poly and then from the side view, let's move this part to the side. So let's try to make this shape, this triangular shape. The way that I usually make this shape is by using a mask. And then looking at the distance, the, the brow to the chin and somewhere in the middle, this will be the height of the nose and if you notice I'm selecting in a triangular way so it's spreading out and then it's flat on the bottom let's invert this and then we just simply from the side view remove this out and then remove this in Let's add some more meat over here. I'm just smoothing this very slightly. Let's remove the mask with Alt M. Also, this part we do need to dig in a bit because the nose it is a bit deeper in the face. Also, with the move brush, let's move the nostrils in just like that. So let's try to make this triangular structure. So, with the scrape brush, I'm going to remove the excess clay over here and then try to make some planes also what you can do you can use the draw sharp and really in inverse select or use it in inverse by holding control you can really make these edges pointy so i think this is a good start What's the next step? Okay, so the next step is to indicate this cartridge, the nostril, and this balloon shape over here. So basically, he's trying to capture this shape over here, the upper lateral cartilage 
the lower lateral cartilage and the nostril area. Okay, let's make it more virus with a lower voxel size. And what we can do is just use the draw sharp and simply dig in over here. I'm making this this part the upper lateral cartridge. Yeah, you don't have to remember the names, just the shape is enough. Let's make this ball thing. I'm simply just using the clay strip brush. Smooth this out. Okay. And the nostril. So again, we can use the draw sharp brush. Dig this thin part really inside. Over here. And then just move it around. smooth the outer sides being careful not to touch this area i'm just smoothing on the outside i think our nose is a bit too much protruding protruding outside too much so let's move it in a bit And I don't know if this should be this too deep in the eye, in the nose. So maybe let's check Henry's side reference. Okay, it's okay, it's visible over here. So yeah, I think we should move this up a bit. It will be better when we smooth it. So let's focus on that image again. This is really deep, so maybe I'll take this in a bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's study this. Let's also divide this in the center. This cartridge ends up somewhere like this. Let's make this plane. I think we should remesh once. Let's smooth this a bit. Let me add more geometry. Let's try to make these planes over here. So using the draw sharp brush. In inverse, I'm pulling this part out and pushing this part in. Smooth this a bit. And this scrape brush is really nice for flattening some areas if you want to make some planes. This goes in quite a lot. Maybe it will get better when we make the nostrils as well. 
let's dig in this area. And this part will come out. It's lower than the nostril. Let's try to make this area more pronounced. And I don't think this is a really pleasing or aesthetic nose. Okay, let's try another method. This is a good reference. Maybe let's try making the nose this way. Let's make those planes again. So I think the best way is to try a different approach, approaches, and then see which one suits you the most. So let's try again. Okay. First of all, I'm going to indicate the nostril. Just a bit. This looks like a good start. And let's try making this ball area. Maybe we should smooth this first and then make this ball. Let's flatten this from the bottom. Okay, let's not totally flatten this. As you can see here, there's a dip in this area. Let's make the cartridge area, cartridge, I don't know how it's pronounced, but the name is not important, the shape is. Let's take in this area. Okay, I think we're on to something. This is looking much better. Let's make the nostrils. Okay. And the important thing is that the nostrils don't touch the upper lip area. There is some sort of a rim over here. We have to keep that into consideration. Let's go to the side view. Okay. And I really want to have these planes, these ones. 
so i think what we can try is establishing these planes first i'm using a draw sharp and inverse Here as well. And after we have established the planes, let's try smoothing these. Okay, I think this is looking much nicer. Also, this area is really important because this is what goes down the cheeks. Okay, this is not bad. Let's try making some nose shapes. So let me duplicate this. Move it to the side. Maybe a few more times. Let's try to make the hawk nose. Let's go to the side view. Look at the planes really helped because we have the shapes over here. This is looking nice. In Greek. Oh, this is something similar to Kratos. His nose is really pointed downwards, almost like an arrow. yeah this nose is he greek i don't know uh, is kratos a greek god oh greek mythology no wonder his nose is greek styled <laughs> nice okay let's Make this nose so it's pointing down quite significantly. It's really straight. Okay, this part moves up a bit as well. Let's make the nostril bigger. Okay. This is looking like he's annoyed. He has an expression. So maybe let's move this forward a bit. And soften this area. Because when it, when it has this wrinkle, this creasing over here, it almost feels like he's annoyed or has an expression. So let's soften it to show that this is his neutral expression. And I'm not really sure how the cartridges work over here. Is it like this? 
not so sure let's try the snub nose now Interesting. So the nostril is pretty thick on this one. I'm just trying to follow the reference as close as I can. I think this part is really squarish. Maybe let's try making something that is real. Okay, this nose is pretty interesting. It, it's almost as if it doesn't have any sharp features. Everything is super smooth. So let's just make this indication of the nostril and smooth it out. Let's smooth these areas more. we can see some sort of thickness over here so i'm just adding a bit more meat but very subtle it's also very thin inflate this area and it's almost like a bean shape So the nose actually has a spiral in this area, which I did not capture in the previous references. I was mainly focusing on the shapes. But I think it's important for this one. So we can have a similar bean shape. And this would be more prominent when we turn on the shadows. I'm still not sure if I have the shape correct. It doesn't look right. I 
think this would be more thicker. So let's inflate this area and smooth it out. This will be more tucked in. I think this is okay. Let's see, let's check all our noses. I think the Greek nose can be a bit better. Doesn't look like it's really pointing down. As it is in the reference. Mm, the nose is even lower than the tip of the nostril. This is looking really weird to be honest. Not sure how this should look from the front. From the side it does look okay. Maybe let's have a look at Kratos nose. Kratos nose. Hmm. Okay, let's add this to our references. Let's try to make this shape. So the nostril is pretty deep over here, we can see. It covers a lot of the nose. Let's add that. Also, there is a lot more meat over here. It's also because of the reason he's angry so let's ignore his anger for a while just focus on the shape okay, the front is a bit more squarish and wide not this area This, we can see that this goes wide, narrow, wide. So this is the wide area again. Wide, narrow, and then wide again. Oh, it is always a good idea to use references. Let's see. Okay, 
now this looks much better i think i like the generic nose and the last nose that we did the most the greek nose i'm not so sure i think it's good if you have an angry expression and some personality like kratos does okay this area is really curved and in the reference we can see it's much more straight the nostril we can see the curvature of the nostril Maybe I'll try to capture the planes once again and then smooth it out very lightly. How long did this take? Half an hour. Let's try to make it from scratch again. Just so that I remember the concepts. Let's make planes of the nose. And since it's Sunday, I don't have a lot of work. Maybe I'll try to make a bust as well. After this. Let's go back to the... Oh, look at this. I always find it very tricky to use Pure Ref with a vacuum tablet. we have the planes let's dig here dig here indicate the nostrils a bit okay let's Smooth this area a bit. And let's make the lower cartridge. Let's make this plane. So let's use a spray brush. Making the nostril over here. Let's use the draw shop 
to carve this area. Now for the nostril. <laughs> also, let's make these. Planes. And then let's smooth. Control 3, let's check the side view. And the, this part is a bit lower. I think this is good enough for now. Yeah, not so bad. Looks okay. I think making these planes is what I lacked and wasn't really doing this part let's see if this makes any difference in my sculpts now or maybe i'll watch nikolai's course again i don't know but yeah i do think that the generic nose and then shipping it into different noses is the way to go. I really like this nose though. This one is nice. Okay. Goodbye.